Hi guys, I'm going to start talking about the steps that it takes for an optometrist to find your prescription for your glasses or for contacts. And the first step of that is autorefraction. So autorefraction is a really simple thing. Um, anyone can administer it. All the patient has to do is to look into a box, basically, and then they have to focus at a distance because your prescription that you need is going to change from when you're looking far away to when you're looking up close. So uh, when you look into the box, you want to look far away. So that's why there's often a picture of like a hot air balloon very far away, or sometimes there's like a farm at the end of a road, or there's like a target that looks like it's far away, but it's not really far away. It's still, the picture is still in that box that you're looking into. So there's some like optical illusions going on there, but it's all to make the patient focus at something far away so that we really know what is, what their uh, eyes are like when they look at something far away. What happens when you look into the box is one eye at a time there's going to be light shining in to the back of your eye and then the light's going to be reflected and refracted back. The light will go into your eye and then the machine, the optics of the machine, will be able to measure when the image that's being put out by the picture in the back is actually formed on the retina and that's all by um, checking the different quality of light and the reflection, the refraction, and things like that. So it's something that the machine does for you, so that's why anyone can administer an auto refraction. It can give you a prescription from there. And now this is just something that a machine does. So of course it's not going to be as good as really seeing and asking the patient if they like how that is, and also it's not perfect. The person is not always looking far away. There's a lot of things that a machine can do, but it's nothing compared to what an actual doctor can do by talking to you, giving you choices, and seeing what you really like to see. So I took some footage of what it looks like in that box, and during the test it's going to come into and out of focus, but that's completely normal. There's nothing to be worried about if it gets fuzzy. It has to get fuzzy so, um, so the machine can work. Then on the doctor's side, they're often looking at your eye and just trying to center it so that they're testing everything that's in the center part of your eye, which is where you see. And here you'll see the testing lights flash. And then after it takes a reading, the doctor can look down and see that's what the prescription is. And it can be done multiple times. This is basically a starting off point for the subsequent steps that the doctor would take to refine your prescription. So this is like the broad, broad strokes. All there is to auto-refraction. I'm going to go deeper into explaining how the doctor finds out your the end point prescription for you. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.